I had this idea where I wanted to post a photo of Gus to the subreddit r slash roast me where you can put someone's photo and you can ask the internet to roast them with their best burns. And uh, the only person I thought I could do it was Gus because Gus doesn't give a flying shit about what any of us think about him. A flying him. shit, that's right. So Gus is going to go through the comments that were uh, written about him from the internet and I invited Jeff because I wanted the person who has been roasting Gus the longest to be here to assess whether or not the internet is doing a good job or if Jeff can do better. Well... I can. I've Jeff, I've done better for years. Jeff has a lot more background uh, material <laughs> and background information to work with. I remember dating Gus. That's where all the comedy was. When Gus Before, was dating, yeah, pre s Oh, okay. The phrasing okay. of that was. <laughs> <laughs> all right, so Gus, at your leisure, go through the comments. Okay, we're going through here. We've got um, comments currently sorted by best. Uh, okay, here we go. Best comment. You posted a picture of me. Uh, Holding some Dungeons and Dragons books. What was the title I the gave The title you? is, I'm a 41 year old dungeon master. Oh, did I mention I'm a vegan too? Burn me if you can. Best comment. The best the internet was able to do. Best comment. The internet dating us. First time I've seen a DM fail a charisma check before his ass even rolled. It's alright. It's okay. Would... Steve No Jobs is funnier, but that's an obvious joke. Steve No Jobs? I'm not even, I'm not wearing turtleneck, but I could see it. You're wearing jeans and a black shirt. Uh, let's see. I think you meant virgin, not vegan. Mmm, yeah. There's a follow-up to that one, though. His face says virgin, and his body says definitely not vegan. <laughs> that's, I think, maybe the winner. That's a really good one. <laughs> the NYC musician. That's, that's really good. <laughs> There we go. Knock off Fred Armisen starring in the next episode of Game of Thrones. Gay of Thrones. Sorry. Dude, how excited are you to be compared to Fred Armisen? I've walked into restaurants before and heard people be like, oh, that's Fred Armisen. No, you haven't. I have. We're very similar. Yeah, it's Armisen like a one-to-one. -one. Yeah. Here's another good one. If fourth edition was a person. <laughs> Little D and D humor there for you. <laughs> Let's just say that fourth edition is not the edition you want to be compared to. Well, if you had to be an edition of D and D, what would you pick? Three, five. Second. Set. Oh. Okay. The only. Dungeon you master is the one you lock little kids up in. Okay. I could see you as a pedophile though. Could you? <laughs> you're like... That's not, yeah, that's creepy. You just hate kids so much. I don't, it's not that God I hate help kids. I don't like kids. I don't hate God help kids. the kids if you like kids. I just don't want them around me. Yeah, you just want them in you. Oh, this is my favorite. The last season of Red vs. Blue was a dumpster fire and you know it. <laughs> I bet that dickhead thinks we stopped at season five. You know how many people will come up to me and are like, dude, I love Red vs. Blue. I, I, why'd you stop making it? When did you think we stopped making it? I'm like, oh, I stopped at season five. And it's like, well, you have 12 seasons to watch. Got a yeah. lot to go. Buckle up. Once you beat all the virgins, and now you have to encounter the final boss. Prepare for battle! <laughs> That's a good one. This one's great, because it's just brutal. How, did, how does that make you feel? That's a hard fucking 41. Mm. You can just feel the honest, blunt, like, vehemence in that statement. Uh, when your parents roll a natural one, that's fun. That's a good one. That's a good one. From Four Eyed Brown Dragon. Sounds like a real winner. Yeah, keep it up. Jesus. Fred Armisen's non union equivalent. See, there it is again. <laughs> Fredwardo Armisen. <laughs> Those will be the most interesting stories you'll ever have on your lap. <laughs> hey, I've got two dogs. <laughs> you know that's true. There's nothing in your life that's as interesting as any of your characters in DD. Probably not. Do I've your DD been... characters get laid? No. Uh, well, I guess life imitates art. I'd attempt to roast you, but those eyebrows will cause a brush fire. That's good. That's a really good That's one. That's good. You know, we used to call Gus in uh, at the tech company where we worked. We used to call him Head, just because that was the majority of his. Because he was a he was like a toothpick with an olive on top. <laughs> I weighed about twenty pounds less back then. Yeah, he was uh, much a uh... very top heavy. There you go. Uh, first of all, big fan. Thank you. <laughs> Second of all, you look like a mix of Hispanic, Asian, and crack. <laughs> I'm surprised nobody went with like a 40 year old virgin sequel joke. Mm -hmm. How do you feel? Do you feel roasted? It's a little warm, right? Did they, did, did any of them hit home particularly hard? No, I think I've thought way worse about myself than yeah. any of this. I think that's what prepares you to be in the public eye. It's like if you already hate yourself more than anybody else could possibly hate you. It is a prerequisite. Mm -hmm. Now going on 17 years of getting uh, an audience just shitting directly in your mouth, you're pretty used to yeah, it. You, you, you're used to yeah, it. This is pretty good. Someone said I had chaotic neutral sexuality. <laughs> <laughs> Little Disney Dragon's burn. All right, that's it. Jeff, how do you think the internet did? I think they did okay from a surface level, but I, I will say that Gus is pretty bulletproof. It's hard to insult somebody who uh, has made it 42 years looking like that. I've I mean, it's it like, 
What can any random person on the internet say that Gus hasn't heard in preschool, in grade school, in middle school? At home. From his family, from his extended family, mm -hmm. from his friends and coworkers, medical professionals, <laughs> brick just, wall of pain. Gus is just scar tissue yeah. of, yeah. of burns from previous years. Mm -hmm. Look, okay. congratulations, buddy. Thank you, I survived. The internet's not nearly as mean as uh, you deserve. Yeah, you're next, we're gonna read out your comments now. Well, that was very positive. Can we do Jeff next? Yeah, that would be fun. Roast you? Yeah, you roast Okay. Me. Thank you for watching that video. If you liked it, if you want to see more videos like that, click below, hit the like, hit the subscribe, hit the bell, hit all that. And if you want to fill comments with your own ideas of burns, you can. I, I have to focus on Gus, he needs some therapy after that sick burn session. Can, can we get back to me? So anyway, when I was six, I found this rock and I shoved it up my butt. <laughs>